What do you do when you're giving a presentation and it's a monologue and then it quickly turns into a dialogue and it might be within, it might be the first words out of your mouth, like, so! Yeah. Right? <laughs> Whenever you can, try to speak in sound bites. You know, make it really short. Many times when we're subject experts, we feel as though you know, we have so much to say. And what's important is that we don't overdo it and we don't overwhelm the audience. One of the goals is transitions. When it comes to being a really good presenter, it is having powerful presentation skills, but also persuasive content. Have that volume and inflection. Because the volume and inflection make sure that you're heard, that what you say is being heard, and the inflection gives it meaning. What I like to consider is giving one thought to one pair of eyes. So what are the similarities and differences doing a virtual presentation versus live? In the case of virtual, people respond to light, color, and movement. Consider less hand movements. You want as much interaction as possible. I encourage every one to three slides, three is really too many, to ask a question. But also for you as a presenter, you, all of you as a presenter, think in terms of those annotation tools. Are there little check marks? Are, could you circle things? You know, how do you get their attention? Thinking in terms of the audience response to light, color, and movement. Let me change these slides. If you stay on a slide too long, I guarantee you, you're going to hear running water. You're going to see those exclamation marks. So you want to keep changing it. Even make your transitions questions. Mm -hmm. Is this making sense to everyone? What do you think about that? And really get them to use the, the different tools. Someone was on a conference call and they heard running water. Someone was taking a bath. <laughs>